today I want to take a look at this clock. Uh, basically, it is a alarm clock, uh, Bluetooth, FM radio, auxiliary. Uh, you know, has all those different uh, sources available. And I don't have the antenna actually uh, extended out because I've actually been able to pick up quite a few stations leaving it just like this and it's not really my main goal uh, although it does do fine with radio we'll take a look at that shortly uh, my main goal on this was primarily to be uh, using it for Bluetooth and there is a nice feature on the back side here um, just so you can see you got like speaker grills speaker grills speaker grills but on the back side you have a USB charging port it's not gonna be the massive you know output so you're not going to get the fastest possible charge but just having the ability to charge your device say overnight while you're sleeping is a nice option and if you're going to be playing music or something with your device it's nice to have the charging because you're going to be pulling more power and then you have uh, auxiliary in port and you have a coin cell CR2032 that's going to be your backup battery here and of course this is where your power cord goes and the nice thing with the power cord is with this particular power cord you got five feet of length so you got a pretty good uh, amount of length to deal with in terms of placement you can see the <laughs> I just changed it to auxiliary mode sorry about that and that's an example of the stereo we put it back in Bluetooth mode and I'll go ahead and turn that off so that's the bottom here you've got a recessed area um, for your uh, antenna here so you don't have to worry about that and then you have these little rubber feet so it keeps it in place but uh, other than that on the top the buttons are a little difficult to see uh, at some angles so that may become a challenge um, let's see kind of give you an idea so you can see your volume your power you can see the time and the set the week sleep and time zone alarm one and alarm two store and memory your tune up and down sorry it's kind of hard to keep this um, your dimmer your snooze your Bluetooth and your source so and then on the front you can see kind of a dust magnet and fingerprint magnets so I've been handling it You've got your PM indicator uh, when you're dealing with your alarm you can see the different indicators for music or if you just want the actual alarm sound as the little bell and then of course if it's off altogether you don't have to worry about that so that's a nice feature there your microphone port or hole is there it's kinda having to zoom in like this because the brightness on this thing, you can see, you've got different levels, and you've got an auto brightness, but if I put it down here and zoom out, you pretty much can't see anything really. So it looks better like that, so you can kind of see that it does show up fine at night works great thing is is in red I don't know how well you can see that but right there in red that flashing is the indicator that the CR2032 battery is low so it kind of showed up that way but right now it's still working and I don't have one so I haven't been able to change it um, I forgot to pick one up when I was in town but here you can see the day of the week um, let me hold down the alarm You can see in green across the bottom the days of the week show up a lot better and I didn't push it in time so you can see that in the days of the week when it's not a Saturday or Sunday in red it actually shows up with the same bluish uh, color that the uh, clock and it shows up a lot better it's a lot easier to see so that's a really nice aspect uh, 
but I wish that the Saturday and Sunday showed up a little better. Fortunately, they don't. So, and my cable's stuck on my camera tripod. So, well, let's see, what else? Turn that back on so you can actually see the buttons on this. So, when you push the power button, you can change between clock and back to your sources. This, of course, is Bluetooth, auxiliary. That's gonna be the radio. Turn the volume all the way down. So that's quite loud, obviously. Um, the alarm on this, you actually get a ramp up of sorts. So it will start out quiet and gradually increase in volume. So some people may or may not like that, but it's kind of nice, uh, I think, as an option. Uh, again, the snooze and the dimmer button, you can see how that works very easily, very well. Your volume controls work pretty quickly, as you just saw. Um, so overall, I'm very happy with this. It takes a little time to get adjusted to it, and everything sounds pretty good. The only, My only real complaint, I guess, would be that I wish they had a little nicer uh, level of bass available. But, you know, that's just my own personal preference. So, um, other than that, it has a, I think, pretty easy to follow instruction manual that goes through all the details. Um, it, it's a nice looking unit. It has a pretty good amount of weight to it, so pretty decent quality, um, it seems. But, so far, I'm happy with it. I've had it uh, for about a week or so now, and just been, you know, playing with it off and on, using it off and on, and just having it run. Um, like I said, unfortunately, the battery arrived, the backup battery arrived dead. So, I mean, not a big complaint, but who knows how long these sit before they're shipped out? So, I'm sure that's a factor. Um, other than that, it's pretty much everything that I wanted to go through on this. I'm not going to use the line in. Uh, but the Bluetooth, well, you kind of heard an example of that. You heard the radio. Unfortunately, it was very loud because um, the volume transfers between the different sources at the highest volume, which is where I had it. And um, other than that, uh, that's pretty much all I have to say right now about this. But in the interest of kind of going through some of the functionality, um, this is where I'm going to say this is the first part of the video. The second half is going to be more about showing some of the um, actual processes of making adjustments and using the actual thing kind of going through the user manual. That part is not probably going to be of much interest to most people so most people will stop the video right now. Okay so thanks for watching up to this point. Alright, so this part of the video is going to be all about making adjustments and things. Um, basically, when you plug this thing in, you can hold down the time or sleep button here in the center. And if you hold that button down, you can see that it begins flashing. You can then make the adjustments to the time. And if you wait long enough, of course, not touch anything, it's going to go back out. But uh, if you hold that down, you can adjust up or down using the tune buttons till you get the time you want. Press it again or just wait and it'll go back and that's fine. Uh, whichever you know, whichever way you decide to do it is up to you. Uh, the power button over here, if you hold this button down, you can see it says 24H24. It changes to 24 hour format and if we hold this power button down again, changes back to the 12 hour format so and of course you have your PM indicator over here so adjust accordingly the next thing that I want to take a look at is going to be uh, basically changing uh, sources uh, so if you hit your power button here it'll go back to the last source right now it's on the radio I've got the volume turned all the way down right now but we've got our uh, source button here and we can cycle through Bluetooth, auxiliary, and our stereo. 
or FM radio. So, very easy. And then if we push the power button, we can just go back to clock mode alone. Okay? Alright, so the first part we looked at dealt with the time zone. Hopefully I said time zone, not time. I apologize if I didn't say that properly. But uh, we dealt with the time zone, so we set the time uh, as far as the hour according to the time in our area. Now, if for some reason you needed to set the time manually, you got the time set button over here. And two, two things about that. One is if you are looking, let's see, at the clock here. Let me get my finger on the button. And you push that button, push that button, you can cycle and see the the date, the time, the date, the year, and of course back to the time. Now if you press and hold this button, it's going to give you the option to set the time and then of course we're going to do the same thing we did before with the tune buttons. That's going to be your navigation buttons. If you hit the uh, time set button here again, you can go to the next, the next. You adjust that of course here, you adjust your year, and then you're back. So very quick and very easy to make adjustments to set the actual time and the time zone as you saw earlier. Okay. The dimmer on this is the snooze button. You've got different levels or you can just let it do that automatically according to the light. So you've got a few options there. All right, taking a look at the alarm function, you have alarm one and alarm two, and I'm only gonna go through one. So. You basically can press this alarm one button is what we're pressing. I don't know if you can see. I'm trying to see if I can get it all in the same shot. Over here you can see the music or the bell. And you can't see it very well because it doesn't show up very well, but you can select between different um, options in terms of the alarm you've got uh, every day Monday through Sunday weekdays Monday to Friday weekend Saturday and Sunday and then single day Monday Tuesday Wednesday you know etc so that's pretty you know easy pretty uh, pretty obvious and with this you get a, a gradual step alarm so it starts out uh, kind of quiet and it ramps up continually it gets I think fairly loud so you know, I guess it depends on you know what you uh, consider loud, but um, when you want to set the alarm, if you press and hold, you can set using the tune button. I'm not going to actually turn the alarm on, but you know you can go through and set the alarm however you like. Press the alarm button. You can change uh, choose the volume level. So, I've got it set right now. You can see the indicator there. So I'm gonna press and hold. And then you do the same for volume level two. So I'm gonna press and press. And now they're off. So, but yeah, the alarm is quick and easy. Kind of the same as the time. You press and hold and then up and down. So very simple. To set the actual alarm. All right. So a few more things about the alarm. If you have the alarm going off and you want to snooze, you can hit the snooze button. That'll give you nine minutes uh, of a delay. So that's nice. Or if you want to turn it off, you can hit the power button here, or you can hit the actual alarm button itself. Now, if you don't touch anything and you just let it go, uh, it's going to run. It's going to alarm for an hour. So most likely someone is going to wake up if they're uh, sleeping at that point I would imagine so uh, that's pretty much the whole of the alarm as far as I'm concerned I mean, you can keep hitting snooze and keep getting the nine minutes so but uh, yeah that's pretty much the alarm uh, again you can do alarm one and alarm two so it's kind of a nice option and you do have the option to have music or the actual alarm. I just prefer having the alarm myself, but personal preference. All right, so taking a look real quick at the uh, radio, the Bluetooth function. I mean, you've got your, you know, tune, which will allow you to navigate tracks. 
uh, and volume which will of course let you change the volume so when you're in Bluetooth mode that's pretty simple auxiliary same thing the radio however is a little different because you can actually store using the alarm one button um, and you can browse the memory of what you have stored using the alarm 2 button. The other thing you can do is to press the button and then use the tune button to go uh, through that as well. And I kind of hopefully will try to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So turn the uh, radio on. So we're tuned to 98.1. The volume is down right now because I don't want to have all the, the noise that's going on. Now if you press and hold the store button, you're going to actually get um, going to keep going back to clock unless I push something. So if you press and hold the store button, you're going to get an option and it's going to come up looking like that with the different numbers. And that's going to allow you to tune to the one that you want to store it, 1 through 10, and then you know, you push the store button again and that's going to store that. So right now I've already got them stored, so I'm not going to do that, but if I push memory and I keep pushing it kind of rapidly, I can actually browse through the different stations of the 10 that are stored. Now the other option is, if you don't want to do that, you hit it and then you can tune up and down rapidly just by using the tune button through the stored stations. So it's very easy to store them. You just go to the station you want, 98.1, and you hit the store button. So that'll come up with the... Um, the number and then of course you just browse to the number you want hit store and you're done so very easy and then of course to browse the stations that are stored again you just hit the memory and like I say you can keep tapping that quickly and you'll be able to browse through to the different stored stations or you hit that until the number is illuminated and you can go up and down if you just want to cycle through them though like I say you can just keep hitting that button if you wait a few seconds you can see it'll turn back to whatever station you're on so there's also that to you know factor in okay so that's pretty much all there is in terms of dealing with storing and recalling stations that have been set if I didn't mention it before with the Bluetooth you do have the play and pause it's actually very apparent because you can see the play pause here so you also have that option I apologize if I didn't mention that before All right, so kind of just a last little bit to finish up. Uh, one other thing here is you have a sleep button. And if you press that, you can actually have it go from 10 up to 90 and then off if you decide you don't want to sleep. But that way you can listen to the radio or whatever uh, station that you like and it will go off. You don't have to worry about waking up and turning it off at some point. So that's a pretty nice option. Uh, there is a, a charging port on the back. It's only 1.2 amps, so again, you're not going to get the fastest charge possible, but you are going to get the ability to charge your phone. And of course, you have the auxiliary input, and your CR2032 battery can be changed here very easily. So, I mean, overall, I think it's a very nice uh, option, well-optioned radio. Uh, the dimming function, like I said, I wish that it actually had a brighter level than that but I guess most people wouldn't uh, care for it to be too bright. At night, it doesn't, it's not a problem at all. It dims down, like I said, the automatic dimming. Um, in the daytime, I wished it were a little bit brighter. Like I said, this light is actually very bright, so not the best option. But with that off, you can see it actually shows up pretty well. So, um, overall, I think that's pretty much it. Um, if there are any questions, or anything that I can answer, I'll do my best. Otherwise, uh, check out the link below. You can find out more information. And uh, yeah, so thank you. Hopefully that's kind of a, a pretty simple, pretty quick little walkthrough tutorial that helps with uh, the operation of the clock. But again, the user manual is actually very, very easy to follow and very easy to use, I think. Okay, thanks.